dancing, food, and live performances are how numerous people in Washington, D.C. celebrated the second inauguration of President Barack Obama. And the HBCU inaugural gala was no exception. When I was looking at the galas that they've done other in other inaugurations, they didn't really seem interesting to me. So I decided I wanted to just create my own. Stacy Hawkins, along with a group of alumni of historically black colleges and universities, HBCUs, started the gala to not only celebrate HBCUs, but to also raise money for the students attending them. Four years ago at the first HBCU gala, the vet raised about $3,000 for students. However, organizers say this is more than about money. It's about keeping HBCUs relevant. It's not where you've been, it's where you're going. And that's what the HBCUs have done for us traditionally, and they continue to do. Well, I thought that this would be a perfect opportunity to be here for the inauguration and to also contribute to the education in our community. While Alex, one of the night's entertainers, used his performance to honor the artists that he says used their music to eliminate divides. Man, it felt really good to just see the response and see people uh, respond to a lot of the songs that really set the pace so that President Barack Obama can run people such as Sam Cooke and Otis Redding. The gala honored African American history while celebrating another historic moment. For Spotlight News, I'm Shaquille Brewster.